Yo, what is good everybody? And thank you so much for stopping by today's video. So as you guys have probably already seen, today's video is a long one. So for that reason, I did want to make it very special. But first and foremost, I did want to make you aware that there are timestamps down below. So feel free to go to certain sections as you so choose. With that being said, I do highly suggest watching the video all the way through or maybe even over a few sittings because it was a lot of fun and we get to cover a bunch of different things. In today's video, we're going to go shopping over a few days, first to the outlets, to Abercrombie and Fitch, vintage shopping. We get to see what that long fear of God hoodie looks like cropped. And of course, we're going to be wrapping up today's video with a bunch of different outfits based on everything that I purchased in today's vlog. Now, just to show a little appreciation to the amazing community that I get to serve through making these videos, I wanted to do a giveaway of an entire vintage vintage outfit. The seasons are changing and what better way to start a brand new season than with some free gear. Hey babe. Hi sweetheart. Royalty. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Gabby just brought me a smoothie. Fifi in the house. <laughs> Fiance, are you wearing the ring? What I'm giving away is this vintage tea. It's Easter weekend. So I want to give away Christian vintage Aww. tea. So it's a, it's a, there's a cross on there and as a heart, the flaming heart with a, cr a crown thorns, Ephesians 2, 4. Nice. By the way, uh, Ephesians is my favorite book in the Bible. So this is a very special t-shirt to me. I'm also giving away two pairs of Levi's. Nice. For free? For free 99. Free 99, I love it. Love that price. Here we go, guys. If you don't have it, then you can win it <laughs> in the giveaway. How do you win it? Uh, I'm going to explain that in just a second. I was going to show the last thing and we can, uh, I guess we can present the last one together. <laughs> we got the base layer, we got the jeans, and then we got the vintage varsity jacket. Yep. That's real genuine leather. Real leather. For the sleeves. Yeah, this thing is fire. Oh, she's going to put it on. Here we go. And it's going to be pre-worn by Gabby. Pre-worn by Gabby, whoever gets this. Yo, hey, that kind of goes with the fit though. That's it. That's it right there. This is this this can be yours. All of this can be yours. Of course, I do fully understand uh, that not everybody is the same size. So if the winner so chooses, they could just sell all this stuff and uh, get something nice for yourself. Whatever you want to do, it's your stuff. Uh, if you win the giveaway, all you have to do is like today's video, comment your Instagram handle down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and of course be following me on Instagram as I will be announcing the giveaway winner on my Instagram stories. Anyways, with all of that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. It is a long one. So again, there are gonna be timestamps down below and you can just kind of highlight and breeze through um, anything you choose to see. And we're gonna touch base here to end today's video going over everything that I did purchase in today's vlog. All right, so we're on the open road and today I felt a little bit spontaneous. So today I'm going to be going to the city of Orange. Uh, it's an outlet mall area and they have a Nike and stuff like that. So we can definitely kind of go around the area, but that is not why I hit record for this drive. I did want to talk about a purchase, an impulsive purchase that I made recently. If you guys follow me on Instagram, then you already saw that I did go ahead and purchase a pair of these. And the reason for this purchase, honestly, is because I wanted a good set of headphones to edit with. Um, as much as I love my AirPods Pro, I feel like you don't get the quality of sound out of it. And I just hope 
uh, that this investment will help in the videos uh, while I'm editing so I can make the experience just a little bit better for you guys. A lot of you guys asked me to give you my thoughts, my unbiased opinion on these headphones as I have had them for a few days now. The sound is much, much, much better uh, than the AirPods Pro. I also have a pair of Quiet Comfort Bose headphones. Are they $200 better than the Bose Quiet Comfort? I have to say no. Um, and that's just me being fully objective. I'm gonna keep my little review very brief. To sum it up, they're great headphones, excellent quality. I would say the Comfort is all right. They tend to pinch a little too hard. So what I ended up doing was like, taking the headphones and just stretching them and that made it a lot better so i literally just hold them like this for like 30 seconds outside of that awesome headphones do you need them probably not a lot of this stuff is not necessarily a need and more of a want and yeah i definitely wanted these and i'm definitely glad i got them because they are pretty awesome Ooh, also they do not fall off but i don't recommend working out with them because they're not water resistant which is kind of a bummer so, do that information what you may. Hopefully that helps you make the decision on whether these headphones are for you or it just reinstated that they're not for you. Um, I totally get it. They're not for everybody. They are very, very expensive headphones. And if I'm honest, not completely necessary. All right, guys. So we just got here to the city of Orange or the outlets of Orange. Oh my God, it's so bright. This outlet area is massive and so we've made our way to pack sun go ahead and go inside and see what they have a nice assortment of rayon feeling shirt that's not good it's a nice pair of denim got a lot of light cargos very befitting for this time of the year i think i'm gonna try these on I'm constantly getting mixed reviews in the Facebook group about the quality. You guys know where my allegiance lies. This would actually be so fire if it wasn't Playboy. I'm really, really into uh, knit polos and knit uh, button downs right now. Oh man, these are sick too. I can't, I can't rock with the Playboy. All right, so we're here in the fitting room and I ran into a cropped sweater. So we have the center logo there. But as you guys saw in my video, I did do the clips to the bottom, but he actually DIY and left the raw hem there and it came out so, so fire. So if you guys were wondering what it would look like, here is your final product. Well done, my friend. Thanks. Looks extremely fire. All right, and so here are the cargos on. As you can see, they fit above the knee. I'm approximately 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds, weigh size 30. These are a size small. And I won't lie, they don't look half bad in my opinion. The only thing is uh, the quality is just okay. The price is pretty good, so I would recommend something like this if you're looking for a quick option that uh, is light, comfortable, breathable, and has that like multi cargo aesthetic. Outside of that, I would say I do recommend the Richie Lee pair uh, compared to these. So here are those toggle nylon pants. They're actually pretty good. I like them a lot. They have a nice shine to them. Hopefully uh, these are, ex hopefully the camera's exposing accordingly. Let's go ahead and bring up exposure just a touch. Ah, that's much better. All right, so yeah, as you can see, uh, it is a shiny nylon. It's got a good amount of breathability, surprisingly enough. I will have them linked below if you guys are interested in these pants. Uh, they kind of look like the ones I'm wearing today, and so I'm probably gonna pass on them, but yeah, not a bad. Yo, what is good, guys? So I needed to take a pause from all the excitement of shopping. First meal of the day, it is currently 2.45. What a way to break your fast, you know? Blackened salmon with Cajun sauteed spinach. And we got red potatoes seasoned in garlic lemon. Yo, what is good, everybody? So it is day two of today's vlog because if I'm honest with you, my goodness, were the outlets insanely dry. Definitely wasn't the move. I actually ended up going to a few different stores, uh, didn't film solely due to the fact that it just wasn't worth your time. And I know it's valuable. So with that, um, I decided to just bring the camera out for today's video and take you guys along with as we take another shopping excursion this time around with one of my best friends this is pat yo what's up what's he's up, been guys? on the channel a few times the oc's next big dentist he just took his exam so that's why he's home right i'm really excited about it but 
Um, with that, I did want to give a special thank you and shout out to today's sponsor for making this video possible, Keeps. If you didn't already know, two out of every three men will experience a noticeable amount of male pattern baldness by the age of 35, which is a majority of us. For that reason, it's very, very important to go ahead and be proactive. It's very rare to go ahead and reverse the effects of male pattern baldness, so prevention is key. Link below is a special offer from the kind people at Keeps. This is the cheapest introductory rate that you can get. And more than that, this isn't just a random promotion because I'm an actual customer. And to prove that point to you a little further, link below in addition to the link to Keeps is my personal testimonial video where I did go through a gnarly amount of hair loss and reversed it through the Keeps program. Don't wait any longer. Don't let any other hairs fall off your beautiful scalp. Go ahead, hit the link below and be proactive with Keeps. So we started off the day hooping. Now we've made our way to KBBQ, first meal of the day. This is the good stuff right here, gentlemen. This is called bulgogi. Very excellent, sweet tasting, meat savory. This is a garlic steak. So at Korean barbecue, there's two types of people in this world. There is the rollers, and then there's the ricers. I myself like to consider myself a hybrid of the two. I like to roll, dip dip in sesame, and enjoy. Currently on plate number what, like six, seven? We're literally killing it right now. I'm starting to feel a little slow. So we just got done with Korean barbecue. We're now here at Earth Cafe because we need a little bit of extra fuel for what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, we're gonna do some vintage shopping. I personally love to do on my own, but oh, it is so much better to do with the company. <laughs> gonna pick up a Spanish latte. It's just amazing here from Earth Cafe. While we're waiting in line, would you like to give us a nice little pirouette? Ooh. The iron sharpened by iron for the beginning and the end. Logo on the back. I feel like I'm like all up in his butt. Yo, I, these are fire, man. I've, I mean, just the graphics and the nylon, it, and the way it fits. I like my shorts kind of, kind of on the shorter end, so I'm on the medium. I'm a 32 waist, but yeah, man, these are fire, and I'm, I'm ecstatic. Crossroads Antiques, uh, at this location, you're gonna find mainly outerwear pieces, button down stuff like that. Uh, obviously, all vintage at really good prices. Yo, this is tough, dude. Looks, what may look like a bomber is actually a freaking flight suit. I'm gonna try this on. I have to try that on. That is so sick. Wow. This is so crazy. Oh, it looks like a space, a space suit. <laughs> I gotta step into it. Oh, it fits perfect, dude. <laughs> it, I literally just felt it go up my, uh... Anyways. If this is, dude, if this is, like, reasonably priced, I'm gonna get this. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I don't care. It's cool. <laughs> is it funny? <laughs> Bro, this is Yo, this is like this is like NASA but for plants. You right, know? So, Come on. This is like <laughs> It's really warm, I'm not gonna lie. I gotta take it off. Yeah, I thought you going to the swamps, man. Oh fudge, it's really warm in this. Dude, it's so hot in this thing. Wow, this is heavily insulating, dude. Woo! I'm burning up in these in this thing. Does it look ridiculous, Pat? It yeah, probably does. I think it looks a little bit ridiculous, but I mean, it, it, it's cool, man. You know, like, if you like it. This is fun, dude. <laughs> I know, I, I know it's kind of I'm not gonna get it. You probably jump off a, a plane right now. Yeah, parachute, dude? Yeah. Ooh, that's, bro, that's tough. I would probably remove these, yeah. but outside of that, dude, this is a really cool jacket. All right. So this one's a little tight on Pat. Restrictive mobility. I'm not crazy about it. Yeah, I agree with the top. Yeah, and I, 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 I never really liked these little strappies. Short, short guy problems. Let's go. Oh yes. Yes. 
Karen, I can't wear this anywhere. Want to be Karen? Karen for 35 bucks? I don't, I don't think, I, that's not really fun for me. <laughs> but I, I just like how aged it is. It doesn't have this, and I like the collar on there too. I feel like it looks really good on you. That's just my opinion though. It's yeah. a good length. I think I might grab it. How, oh, how much is this joint? 40. Five. Okay, it's not a little high. It's a little high. I mean, for this booth, I feel like. Should we keep looking around? Uh, yeah, let's let's put it on hold, and then if we don't find anything else, but I think it's pretty up, and it, like be good for Utah. Yeah. That thing is that's a that's a statement, dude. That's a statement piece. Poor camera. What's going? What's going? What, why is it poor? <laughs> <laughs> it is. Okay. What did you do just for decoration? I'm sorry. This doesn't help you, right? Oh, I'm a YouTuber. Oh, I make YouTube videos. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I think it might be from hold, man. 135. Dude, just the attention to detail. You ever buy any of your Beautiful curation here. Sorry? You ever buy any of your yeah, I found a couple. Vintage. Yeah. Right, so the better judgment in me to decide to go ahead and uh, put the FAA jacket on hold as we continue to go through this area just because it's probably better not to have to carry it. And also I can take some time to think about if I actually want it and want to make it a part of my wardrobe just because I feel like I have so many jackets right now. All right, so we're in a different area of the vintage market. This one here is known for mainly carrying American vintage, uh, a lot of racing related stuff, Harley stuff. Actually, I've found some very, very good things in this area. Actually, some really good Levi's came from here that I own. Oh, it's a varsity jacket. Can't really see it though. Judge Dredd. What's that? It's a movie. <laughs> it's a movie? <laughs> yeah. That's looking for a varsity. I mean, it'd be cool if it didn't say Judge Dredd on it. <laughs> what the heck? This is actually kind of fire though. It's a Rolling Stones. Yo, that thing is sick, dude. Well, that fit, if that doesn't fit you, I'm putting that on. I'm sorry, Pat. I don't even need a varsity. <laughs> dude, stop it. I eyed that thing. I saw I saw the, the, the sleeve peeking out there. I'm like, Pat, this is you. But if you're not gonna run that, I think I may I might have to. 125. It's alright. It's like a normal price. You wanna try it on? May I? She may. <laughs> alright, here we go. I think it's gonna have to pick up, be a pickup regardless. I'm like I just so the color jealous. scheme is just so ins bro, I feel like it fits. Wow. I feel like it fits, Pat. Yeah, that fits. Wow, Newton. I don't know what it looks like right now. I haven't seen a mirror it just looks yet. looks great. Yeah, 135. Wow. Is it a pickup? It's a pickup. Easy. Dude, this color Easy. I'm jealous. It's just so, so excellent. I'm jealous. Oh, that's, that's, that's great. I think you, uh, you don't want to look at that one back here? Oh. It, this is a pretty good one back here. This one right here. Yeah. I found some good stuff over here in the past. I don't know what it is. Like I know a lot of people say like bomber jackets are dead. Mm. I don't know why. I don't know why I would even think about getting another jacket. I feel like because they're no longer cool, I want to get one again. It's a little big. It's too big. It kind of feels too big. It's a good wash though. Beautiful wash actually. It feels smaller than a 38. He buys like shrink over time, like denim shrinks over time. Yeah. So like sometimes I'll buy like a 34 waist and it's a 38. Just because it's like been washed and aged so much. I'm gonna offer, I'm, I'm gonna offer on it. See if I can uh, haggle a little bit. Here he is trying it on again. <laughs> what the heck are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? There's no, there's no bullying here, bro. <laughs> the <laughs> length this man is trying to go to see. <laughs> bro, don't stretch out. You're going to break <laughs> it, dude. <laughs> Leather <laughs> rips, dude. I'm trying to pick it up. <laughs> Did he sell her? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't need it, but sometimes, like, the jacket needs you, you know? True that. Like, dude, I, like you can't, like, it just fits so perfect. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Pat. I don't want to give it to you, I swear. Watch your step. Good thing we put that stuff on hold and then just, like, buy it. 
There's no way in heck I'm buying two jackets today. So this is my friend Orange Circle Vintage. Very awesome guy. If you see anything that you like in today's video, uh, go ahead and check him out on Instagram. He does do online sales. He's got a lot of good stuff. And he actually just re-upped this whole area. And so that's my little plug for my friend and small business owner. Nice fade. Yeah, I like the fade. Yeah. Like so, so, um, so much lighter on the top. So you yeah. Know. We're just talking about this Dude, in the car. You sound like you know what you're really talking <laughs> about. Oh my gosh. Thanks to you. <laughs> Got an original Mitchell and S, New York Yankees. This is where we want to be. These look like. What are those, Wrangler? Big. Too big. Fair. Oh, th sorry, this is a 32. My bad. I saw it wrong. You like those? My size, yeah. yeah, 32. But they're they're on the shorter side, 29. So I I would I would honestly try them on, like yeah. legitimately try them on. Try them on. Yeah. I probably wear like the high tops. So what I would do, okay. So what I would do is you're gonna get a little bit more length out of these if you release this hem. Okay. So just take. I have a at my house a, a fab a seam ripper, and it'll, we can just rip that, and then it'll give you extra like little really? extra. Yeah. But no, that stone wash is pretty nice. Yeah, I think they look pretty excellent, dude. What's the price on those? 50. 50? 50? No. Are you serious? Is that the price? Uh, uh, it looks like it's 30 to me. I don't know. Maybe it's... No way, it's 50. No, he... No way. You like the wash, though? Uh, yeah, the, the, that's like a, like a nice stone wash. You okay. can never go wrong with that. My favorite is this wash right here. This is what I've been wearing a lot of. It's just like... This like sand wash. Yeah, this color is like another color I love to wear a lot. Here's another pair, Pat. These are 505s. Yeah, I don't know. You want to uh, put it on your neck to see? You tell me. Yeah. Oh, the length is good. Yeah, the length of those is should be good. Yeah, those fit. To me, those look better. I don't know. You guys comment down below. I can always come back and get them for you. But I think those fit perfect. Like, yeah, that's my opinion though. Like always go with what you like. You know what I mean? Like I, that's not to say I'm right. Fashion is obviously subjective. And these details here, like they just look so good to me. They complement your shoe really good. Yeah, I I think you're making the, you know, really, really good decision. Look at this beautiful pair of Levi's. Just beautifully distressed. Amazing wash. Got the whiskering up front. Man, these are are beauties and once again we're here at orange circle vintage a lot of good stuff he sells stuff online as well if you see anything in today's vlog that you like feel free to dm him once again orange circle vintage his name is juan he's a good people and he's a type of person you would be proud to support yo freaking kurt cobain teapot 160. Over here, about to ring out 125 on this one, which I feel like is a pretty good price. Almost 40 years old. No bad. Okay, have a great one. All right, so successful outing. I'm sorry, Pat. I just I had to do it. it. Had to be done, you know. Fortunately, my car's right here, so we don't have to carry it. Sometimes, you know, you, you just can't fight destiny. Paid uh, 118 out the door, that's after taxes. So they took uh, 15 bucks off, which it's always a, always a smart thing to offer, you know, or just attempt. You're gonna miss every shot you don't take. Found this uh, nylon quilted crop jacket. I believe it's women's, but it gives me like capital vibes. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try it on. Uh, it's like way too cropped. This is, this is definitely something that my grandma would wear though, which means it's fire. 550. Ooh, these might fit me, but these are a little too tapered. What did I get 505 earlier? Oh, these might be, these, these might be really good for you. They're oh. great, but they're long at AF though. The length is long, dude. That's the only thing. You wanna try them on? No, I'm gonna get these. You wanna try it on? <laughs> dude, they're so sick. Yeah? They're so, yeah, it's a great color. They fit you good, dude. 
That pair earlier, your first pair? Yeah, first pair. Let's go, dude. We're picking up two in one day. Lee. Lee makes good deno. Oh, I'm not crazy about that no. one, though. Okay. Hey, my alma mater. Oh, this is pretty fire, Pat. Oh, yeah. That's dope. I, like, I think it's a little too wide for me, but you can take it if you want. Nice looking tee, University of Hawaii. Nice little fade to it, a little paint. Single stitch, US Navy tee. Thing's pretty sick. I like it. I this one. I, I feel like What's I have a lot of- What's the price on it? 20. Oh, that's good. It fits you really good, single I, stitch too. I feel like I have a lot of um, black, black feet. Yeah. Kind of no, this is tough, dude. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Things are turning around today. Around. You'd love to see it. All right, so I didn't pick up anything here, but I am so excited to show Pat the new and improved Amber Crombie and Fitch. He's not a believer yet. Not a believer. He's not yeah. a believer. And so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go downstairs. They have a pretty decent Amber Crombie and Fitch here. We're about to make a believer of this kid. Bro, I think, I think it's just this, the smell, it just kind of messed up with my mind, so I've never wanted to go in. And the darkness, too. And the darkness. You remember how dark it was in there? And then it I was like a dungeon. I can't compete with those male models, too. Don't sleep. Oversized vintage wash crew neck. So last time I was here, I purchased this, if I did not know any better. I think I'm gonna try one on, actually. I highly recommend this one. This okay. is such a good piece for springtime okay. because it's a happy medium between like, like a, it being a knit and kind of a sweater material, but you're not gonna overheat. That's clean. That's clean. I like that. It looks really good in my opinion. I think the XL works. Yeah. The blue's very nice. So I found this one here. This one, it's like a very flowy rayon. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is just style an outfit all together with this one, and I think I'm gonna end up purchasing it because it looks like it fits pretty decently for 60 bucks. Can't really go wrong, sorry. I probably should have brought my tripod. It'd probably be better just wear it worn open, but like so. A pair of twill trousers, and so it's like a cream color. I feel like this is gonna be a nice look. I don't know if this is actual suede, but it definitely looks like suede. It has a little bit of a stretchiness to it as well. All right, so we've made our way into the fitting room. Outfit of the day though, vintage t-shirt, single stitch, top leopard. The back is just crazy on this one. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the shorts are the minimal mesh shorts, dual layer. These things just fit perfectly right above the knee. One of my favorite shorts. I'll have a link in the description if you guys are interested in a really great fitting pair of mesh shorts. The Air Max One Pada collab. And uh, yeah, I've been getting a ton of wear out of these. So this is probably not how I would style this, especially not with the with these sneakers, but uh, this is the general look. I'm not sure if I need to size up in the top, but yeah, it's definitely, it's clean, you know? You guys know as of late, I've been into mixing in uh, streetwear with a little bit of menswear, so. Bro is really getting both of the same shirts I have. <laughs> he Bro, thought the, I wouldn't notice. The, the blue one is a different color though. It's a different color, okay. Different color. That counts for something. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to let you know if I wear the other shirt though. Yeah, okay. yeah we can't okay. match, we can't match. Although that would be pretty adorable if we did. <laughs> All right, so I'm taking the shirt. Decided to say no to the pants because while they are very nice, twill material, very light, and great for the summertime. All right. Yo, what is good, guys? So I do apologize in advance. My camera battery died in my DSLR inside Amber Crombie, but I ended up getting just the button down and not the pants just because I felt like the price point of the pants was a bit high for what they were. Got Pat here. Thank you so much for joining us today, my hey, friend. Man, it was a lot of fun and it just brought back a lot of good memories. Come so on, it's always dude. good to be back. Always good to see this guy. Come on. From here, I'm going to go ahead and segue over to uh, just the haul portion. I'll show you guys everything I purchased. Style it. 
and uh, give you guys my overall opinions on everything that I bought. So with that, thank you so much for stopping by the channel and I'll see you guys back at the crib. Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to present day. If you made it this far into the video, I did want to thank you in advance. You are a real one. You know what? As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and play a little game. Comment something random. Let's make it Hard Rock Cafe. Comment Hard Rock Cafe if you're seeing this, if you've made it this far into today's video. Now, just before we proceed to go ahead and showing you everything that I did purchase in today's vlog, I did want to let you know that Minimal is currently having a buy one, get one 50% off sale that ends at midnight on Thursday. For that reason, I'm not just gonna be showing you guys what I've purchased in the vlog. I'll go ahead and style it all with minimal denim. So first things first, a t-shirt that I'm actually wearing right now is a shirt that I did purchase at the antique area. Nothing too crazy about this t-shirt. I think it was like 15 bucks. Uh, the fade is just okay, but I do feel like over time, over wear, and of course treating it here at my house, um, I can make this shirt a lot better than it actually is. So for that reason, just based on potential alone, I did go ahead and purchase this single stitch beauty from Beijing. Here, I've got them styled with a pair of V denim from Minimal. The V in V denim signifies that they are part of Minimal's vintage line. Think vintage Levi's 501, and that's kind of how you can expect this pair to fit. Next, we have here this absolutely beautiful, gorgeous, and magnificent varsity jacket and just look at this color scheme it is just amazing i did go ahead and style this with the minimal d212 denim which is a part of the buy one get one 50 off sale so as you guys already know i have a ton of vintage t-shirts but when it comes to vintage tees and if they look like this i will never say no look at the age the fade the thinning of the fabric, it's just its just so good. Um, this pickup was $20. And again, I, I couldn't say no to this t-shirt, uh, though I own quite a few Harley tees. Now, contrary to what we generally see with vintage t-shirts, this one is not oversized, nor is it boxy. It's actually the antithesis, fitting more true to form to the body. And that's something that I've been accumulating as of late. Um, as I've really been messing with uh, the aesthetic of having the t-shirt actually fit uh, true to the body and conformed a little bit more and having the pants be a little bit more on the baggy side. Um, just proportionally, I find that is, uh, it just looks a little bit better in my opinion. Moving away from vintage, here we have this pair of trousers that I purchased at PacSun from the sale section. Um, there really wasn't too much like in the actual main store, but at the back, of the store is a sales section where you can find some pretty good stuff. Uh, these were 35 bucks. I think the original price, let me see the tag here. Yeah, the original price was 60. And last up is this button down that I did purchase over at Amber Crombie and Fitch. Here we have the chain stitching detail uh, for the West Village hit on the back. And the same goes for here on the front very very fire just a nice detail um kind of reminiscent of like that old american vintage originally i had this one styled in my head with a pair of trousers um i just don't have the right ones in my wardrobe just yet i went ahead and went two routes styling this one with a pair of d212 denim in light blue uh, with a pair of sneakers and then i went ahead and dressed it up a little bit differently with a pair of minimal M300s denim. Uh, that's the slim zipperless denim and a pair of leather loafers. And that is gonna do it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel. Yet again, this one was like a movie rather than an, a typical upload, but hopefully you guys did enjoy it. And uh, I did wanna wish everybody an amazing Easter weekend. He is risen by God's grace and his glory we are forgiven. and. There's just no greater truth in my life than that. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.